Hey everyone, welcome back to a tra another Traveler's Notebook um, session. We are going to be working on a, um, a layout that is documenting three different events, though I will only be uh, doing one of the events in here because I'm kind of doing like the title page for all three of the events and then as well as covering one of the events. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm using these typed out... Um, I guess titles. I I create. I wanted to create kind of like a timeline of our day. We did three different events on Saturday, um, on last Saturday, and that is a lot. And I know all your moms out there with multiple kids are thinking, "Oh my God, what is wrong with this woman dragging her very young toddlers around the county to multiple events? Like, just choose one woman. Like, what's wrong with you?" But two of the events we had done last year, and one of them was a new event, and we were already pretty close to it. And I just wanted to go. Um, you know, check it out since we were so close. Um, and like I said, the two events, the trick or treat in downtown Melbourne and then the Vieira Harvest Festival, we had done both of those last year and I wanted to kind of get the same kind of photos to kind of show the boys, um, changing over the last year. I think that's really sweet. So anyway, I'm just choosing some doilies. I thought this craft one would work really well with the craft paper of the insert. Um, but it ends up that the white one worked better, which I didn't think it would. I thought it would clash, but in the end, I think it looks really, really good because the craft doily and the craft paper are two kind of different colors. So I'm glad that I chose the white one, even though I was thinking in the beginning it wouldn't look good at all. So I'm just gluing it down. I put my adhesive down first because I didn't want to tear the doily and the adhesive that pokes through these holes, I'm just rubbing it off and it, um, these roller... Um, adhesives, they just rub right off. If you just put any kind of friction on them, they just, they just rub right away, which I love. So I'm just cutting the doily off really quickly. And, um, yeah, I feel like this, this traveler's notebook for fall is kind of turning into a, not really an October daily, but I feel like everything we've done so far has been very Halloween-y. So I'm kind of hoping that the November things that we get into, um, kind of, tame out this fall book because we haven't gone to a corn maze yet. We haven't done any hay rides or anything like that. So I think we really need to get that done and I'll be gone all next week. Um, so we'll have to figure this out because it's starting to feel like it's just about documenting all of the Halloween events that we go to, which uh, in October, I'm sure there's a lot of them. But anyway, moving on. I'm just using these uh, word phrase stickers that I picked up from Michaels. I am obsessed with them. Oh my god, I have six sheets. Um, and I'm, I'm pretty certain they're in the main like sticker wall section, but I was just so terrified that they would uh, sell out and they wouldn't get any more. So I bought three packages of them and they have two sheets each in them and I just love them so much because they're black and gold foiled and they're awesome. I was trying to make those sequins from the After Dark collection um, from the Cray Paper last year work but I just couldn't get it to work. The orange was too bright and uh, the bats just didn't really fit and so I just pulled out these puffy stickers. The heart goes but the arrow stays. It's the right orange and it looks kind of cute and it takes up that space decently so I'll pull out these enamel dots from the After Dark collection as well to try to make them work, to try to fill up this space, because there was just this weird, I mean, I probably could have left it, but I don't know, it felt like it needed something, so the black enamel dot gets the boot too, and then I think we will move on to um, adhering this and then working on the photos, so um, yeah, like I said, we, I, I didn't pick up any pamphlets. The, the pamphlet from the trick or treat was the same as last year. So I didn't want to include that in this year's notebook. And what I'll normally do is I'll take the pamphlet from the event, um, and I'll cut out the logo or I'll cut out the name or whatever. And I'll use that as like the title for the event. But the only one that I got was that orange piece of paper that you just saw. And it was just a scarecrow scavenger hunt. So, um, it wasn't really even a title. I mean, it was kind of a title to the event, but not really. So the trick or treat event was, like I said, the same thing from last year. They didn't change it at all. So I didn't really want to include it. And uh, the Vieira Harvest Festival in the middle there, they didn't, I, I, it was so chaotic by the time that we got there that I didn't, I couldn't find anything with the logo on it. So I thought about it and I wanted to create this timeline with the times and the names of the event 
with my typewriter and that's what I did and um, these two pages and the following two pages will be about this one day because I couldn't get all the photos from this one day so on this page right here I'm just documenting our downtown Melbourne trick-or-treating which is really cute it's this really um, hipster type downtown area with tons of really awesome restaurants and shops and um, it's a really up-and-coming area and they um, at w a lot of the shops will you know you just walk around this cute little area and you go trick-or-treating and the kids love it and the temperature was amazing I think it was in like the like this like the lower 70s like 73 and um, in the sun it was amazing in the shade when the wind would blow you would catch kind of a chill and oh my gosh it was just dreamy the day was just dreamy that's why I wanted to do so much because the weather was amazing and I didn't want to be stuck inside the house because I can't take this Florida heat I mean I feel like I complain about the dang weather every single video but I am just not built for Florida weather I'm just not <laughs> I need cardigan weather that's my life that's what I need so anyway, I'm just using these Mampi stickers that I also picked up from Michaels. They're kind of big, so I'm kind of having to use them in creative ways. Um, but I think I think I, I do all right with them because Lord knows they are big. So I think that's it. I'm going to bring it in for a close-up so you guys can see how it turned out. I hope you liked it. I hope you like my videos. I hope you like my channel, and I hope you will subscribe. Um, until next time, I'll catch you later. Bye.